Hi, my name is Paul Gottschall, and I'm a professor in the Department of Pharmacology and Toxicology at the University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences in Little Rock, Arkansas. Although there are numerous and diverse activities that I do to make my job really exciting, I have two major duties as a professor. One is to teach medical and other students pharmacology, and the second is to maintain an active and funded research program. The personnel that conduct research in my laboratory have been postdoctoral or post-PhD fellows, technicians and undergraduate students, but most significant to me are graduate students who participate in research in the laboratory. In my career, um, nine graduate students have received their PhD degrees under my guidance, and they now have positions that range from professors at universities in Georgia and Florida to one former student that is the supervisor of preclinical research at a small pharmaceutical company in Massachusetts. Training PhD graduate students is really important to me because it allows me to pass on my love of science and really what I've learned about doing science to the next generation of independent researchers. My laboratory investigates various functions of the extracellular matrix in the nervous system. In many different tissues, including the central nervous system, we're only beginning to learn about how the extracellular matrix regulates and controls cell behavior. Because matrix is outside the cell, the stimulation of the cell by matrix molecules is one mechanism by which the cell can respond to a changing extracellular microenvironment. In the nervous system, the extracellular matrix may allow for learning or adaptive behaviors to become permanent. We think by laying down matrix around a complex neural circuit. Removal of the matrix can make these circuits plastic again, causing a loss of reflexive memory and behavior. Although the role of matrix in learning and behavior is certainly not this simple, there are certain systems and behaviors where matrix plays such a major role. Since it is the nervous system that controls all of our behaviors as an organism, one might surmise that changes in the makeup of the matrix might have profound influence on behavior, and in certain conditions, this is true as well. Our laboratory studies modifications that occur in the extracellular matrix with changes in behavior, in response to injury, or in nervous system disease, and determines whether there is a direct relationship between changes in the matrix and the response to injury or the development of disease. In that regard, one major interest of the laboratory is the study of matrix um, with aging and in age-related diseases such as Alzheimer's disease. In addition, there are several pharmacological tools that can prevent or induce changes in the matrix, and these reagents are important in these kinds of studies. If you're a student with a love of biomedical sciences and an interest in pharmacology or neuroscience, I want to encourage you to look at UAMS, and in particular, my laboratory in the Department of Pharmacology and Toxicology as a place to train. You can find my contact information on the website, and I encourage you to get in touch with me.